So I'm in my office right now studying for classes. It's 1 a.m. in the morning. Pull up Galaxy of Heroes and a big update just dropped out of the blue this early in the morning. Capital Games, do you guys go to sleep? And this is actually huge right now. We're getting the first round of our mod changes added to the game. And right now, a lot of stuff has just hit us. And it might be confusing a lot of you guys. So we're going to go through this post, tell you what's new, and kind of show you in game what things are looking like with this first round of mod changes. So I'll leave a link down below in the the video description. If you want to read this on your own, I suggest you do take a look at it. But if you want to read along with me or just listen to my lovely voice, pretty much the biggest things that are happening right here is listed right here by our community manager. And pretty much the biggest things, in my opinion, is that the color changes are going to hit us right away. So before when you level up the mod, you got the 15, everything's gold. That's not the case. I'm going to show you guys over here. But when we look at uh, on my personal account, we see that my mods, these were gold before. Now the colors are all mixed up. And this is going to throw a lot of people off after over two years with the current mod system. The other really big thing you need to know right now if you're about to leave the video is that the stat changes to the mod sets are finally hitting as health, defense, critical chance, tenacity, offense, and potency mod set bonuses have been increasing. Critical damage and speed sets are going to remain unchanged. As we heard with previous uh, developer interviews, the, they're trying to make a huge emphasis on trying to make underperforming mods a lot better. So there's a good chance mods like health and defense, as we'll see soon, these changes Changes might make health and defense a lot more viable before especially for your tanks seeing how huge these bonuses are with this new update now a lot of you guys hated the faction requirements for mod challenges no one likes to farm their jobs for some reason well don't worry now you don't have to worry about faction requirements to do the mod challenges which I kind of get a lot of people don't want to farm Jawas for no reason and this is the craziest thing I when I opened up my phone I saw that for a limited time we can get these special mod salvages on light and dark side nodes speaking of slicing this week you'll start Sing bonus tracks for mod salvages on hard notes. Woo! Hard notes, baby! Woo! Hard notes! Oh, we love hard notes. God bless America. You guys love your hard notes. We heard you guys love the hard notes from our key characters. We're gonna put more stuff on the hard notes for you guys. <laughs> All right, enough joking around, people. We have a lot to talk about. So let's get right into it and dive into the mod tier and coloring and the naming system going on with this new update. They kind of show us a little image of the before and after. Right now, this is what I was talking about before when you level 15 a mod, it would be gold. And the same update right now, after the update, the same mods are changed in colors due to the tier of the mod when you originally acquired them. Our community manager says one of the things that is added to the difficulty of using mods is the fact that it's unclear which mods are the highest quality. A mod's tier or the color is based on the number of secondary stats when you acquire it for the first time. For example, a tier A mod, which is a gold mod, has four secondary stats at level one, whereas tier E, gray, a gray mod, has no secondary stats as level one. And what is confusing is that we then increase the tier and change the color when leveling up the mod, and this results in all level 15 mods being gold when there's a vast difference in the value of a level 15 mod that was uh, that started off as a tier A gold versus one that started off as gray. So for example, if you're starting off with four secondary stats, as you're leveling up the mod, those secondary stats can get quite significant versus a mod that doesn't have a secondary stat to start off with. The numbers are going to be vastly smaller for the most part compared to those gold mods that you start off with. So pretty much they're trying to show that the color of the mod, the, the, the difference in the color shows how much better a mod is. So gold is better than purple, which is better than blue, which is better than green, which is better than gray. And to better represent the value of the mod, we are no longer increasing the mods tier when leveling. And here we go. So we're going to set each mod's color to the tier of the mod when it was first acquired. So this is going to go way back when you first got your mods, who knows, two years ago. It's going to remember if that was a gray mod, a green mod, a blue mod, or a gold mod to start off with. And it's going to put the colors back to where they were. But the mod stats are going to remain unchanged. So whatever you're seeing now, so let's go hop over to my account right here. For example, we have plus eight speed. I had that plus 8 speed before the update. Let's check over here. I had the 3.13% potency. That was there before the update. So they just changed the color, but they're leaving all the stats that we had before unchanged. And this change is being rolled out prior to the client update so that you can get familiar familiarity with how this affects your current mod roster. This may be somewhat of a visual shock, but keep in mind that the, that the stats are not changing. So again, visual changes, but pretty much it's the same mods as before, and they most likely will get better with this whole mod slice Thing, that thing that's going on. So pretty much the biggest thing they're saying is that don't mass sell your five dot mods right now. Wait so you can make a more accurate decision about their value in the future because as they said before, they're going to let you know what the potentials of the 
mod before you start leveling it up. Second biggest thing that we need to talk about, maybe the first biggest thing, is that we're starting to see the bonus improvements to some of the sets. And right now, apparently, there's a bug, and you're not going to see this right now, but they're going to fix it soon. But right now, we're seeing some big changes to a lot of mods that were very underrepresented before. They're hoping this is going to provide new mod strategies such as focusing on health or defense set for tanks and making potency and tenacity sets a bit more meaningful, but they're not going to decrease any sets such as speed and critical damage. They're still going to have high values, but who knows how important they'll be after this update. Maybe health and defense is going to be so important, as we'll see when you have level 15 mods and you're doing a health mod set, you're getting plus 10% health per set, which is a lot higher than before. Defense, look at that, 25% per set of defense. So you can have three defensive sets, so technically you can have plus 75% more defense. Imagine what that will do to characters like Sith Trooper, who's already a very defensive-based tank. Critical damage, no change, plus 30% critical damage is already pretty decent. Critical chance is now plus 8% per set, which is definitely a bit better than before. Tenacity, this might make Bastille teams even more powerful, plus 20%. Per mod set, so right there, you're going to get 60% more tenacity on top of already the high tenacity Basila gives the Jedi. Offense plus 15%. Kind of curious how that will pan out. Maybe be a bit more comparable to how critical damage is. And potency plus 15%. So maybe, for example, that Cad Bane team we tried up against Jedi, maybe this extra potency might make Cad Bane led uh, bounty hunters do a lot better up against Jedi teams. And then we have speed. Speed is remaining unchanged. I still think speed is going to be the most important secondary stat in galaxy here's what we're gonna have to see after the update maybe defense will be more important than speed but usually speed is very important in a turn-based game like this so now they're gonna change how mod secondaries work if you recall if you had like a, a green mod for example if it had speed it has a chance to keep rolling that speed over and over again and now I guess they're gonna make some changes with the addition of slicing they've needed to make change to how mod secondary stats are earned so as we know with the we, we as you know with the tier E you get zero secondaries green you get one blue you get two purple you get three and tier a gold mods have four secondaries to start off with and a secondary step is then added or increased at three six nine and twelve so for green mods that means that a new secondary stat is added at each of these levels and for gold if for gold it means that there's going to be a random secondary that is increased at each of these levels so this will not change but the change they are making is specific to the lower mods so the green blue and purple mods in the current system that we have these mods increase existing secondary stats before adding new ones so for example this is what i was talking about a green mod will increase one of its secondary stats before adding to the other three and this gives green mods some added value as it guarantees its first secondary to get an increase so if there's a if there's a green mod with a speed as one of the first secondary you're guaranteed to pretty much roll that again and get a much better speed mod out of it. This will ensure that starting with a green mod gives the same mods as starting with a gold mod. It will just take resources, example, the mod salvage when starting at green due to the slicing materials that is needed to be acquired. And mod challenge requirement changes. I remember when mods first came out, it was a bit annoying having to try to get your Jawas because Jawas really aren't that good in the game overall or getting resistance. Resistance at one time was a pretty hard faction to farm to get your speed mods. Those are two of the most important mods, uh, mod sets to get, and now they're making it a lot easier by saying, you know what? No more required units for these mod challenges. You can use whatever under the sun. So, because that's one of the problems they're seeing here is that uh, people aren't really engaging with mods as much because they don't meet the requirements for the really good mods, such as speed sets. So really this change is made for beginner players because they want beginner players to engage more with mods and if you're blocking the hardest or the best mods uh, with the resistance or Jawas for example, it deters people from really engaging with mods more. So if you see here, if I go into this speed challenge mod before you need a resistance, if my memory is correct here, and now I can use anything under the sun to take on this challenge. Look at that, that's a great team right there. So very good for beginner players right there. Hopefully this helps you shoot for those mods because a lot of people recommend speed, speed, speed before. I think that's still going to be the case after the other update but now you can use whatever characters you have to knock out the challenge that you really want to be able to get mods for and for a limited time light side and dark side hard nodes because we all know how much we love hard nodes will reward mod salvage as bonus drop start earning this slicing salvage now and get a head start on mod slicing upon release let's go check out those real quick so unfortunately range trooper is a hard node farm yippee i'm gonna wait till 2019 to get this character and look we have some new stuff i we've never seen this before these are some crazy looking 
things. They don't tell us yet what they'll be used for besides mod slicing. Um, I mean, I think there was some gameplay before shared by the developers on some videos showing what the uh, what you, what happens when you mod slice. But these are probably going to be really important. I've said this before. This stuff right here. Let's go and see what my my uh, my shard rates are, my drop rates are for range trooper. Come on, big money! All right, we got three shards, not too bad. And we didn't get any of the mod salvage. Out of all this stuff right here, I got zero mod salvage. Oh, the mod salvage stuff for the uh, mod slicing, it's really, since they put all this effort in do a reworking mods, they probably are trying to figure out, all right, what's the way we can monetize mods to kind of pay us back for all the time we put in? And I think the mod sal salvage, that's going to create some sort of aspect of a pay-to-play wall if you want to make your mods even better. So we're going to have to wait and see, but I, I don't have a good feeling about this when you have to farm more stuff to make your stuff better usually there's gonna be money involved or it's gonna make it a lot more difficult to make your mods better and therefore be able to be more competitive in arena and the raids and whatnot let's go try over here and get boss let's see if we can get some stuff here oh geez this is not <laughs> so far I've spent like 200 energy and I still haven't gotten a single one of these pieces all right come on give me something maybe visa smart come on give me something all right we got something we got some of the our first drops of mod salvage uh, many <laughs> energy uh, spent later we finally got some mod salvage so take advantage of this right now because I'm pretty sure it's gonna be very important moving forward once the rest of the the mod 2.0 update drops and looking at my roster we have this purple mod if I take it all the way to 15 it's gonna stay purple and if I want to get this to gold let's just pretend there is speed in there or something and I want to keep rolling or whatever increases to six dot mod you're going to need to slice the mod so I mean I'm not too sure how I feel about mod slicing just yet we're gonna have to wait and see but deep down inside I have a feeling that the mod salvage we're needing it's gonna be hard to acquire let's hope not and there's gonna be some element of uh, some wall there because they want to try to monetize the mod system because for a while now there hasn't been really a way to monetize mods until now now that you need stuff you need gear essentially to make your mods better it's another layer of gearing that's how I'm seeing this right now so that's gonna be it for today's video mainly an emergency video that just kind of came out of nowhere because this is a really important patch I want to make sure you guys are well aware of and I'm just really kind of curious what are your guys thoughts on these sets the the set changes they're making to the mods health defense and tenacity sound like they'll be really important moving forward we'd love your guys thoughts let me know down below in the comment section whether you guys are excited for the mods 2.0 update and if you did enjoy the video go ahead leave me a like comment down below and be sure to subscribe so you're not missing a thing my friends and until the next video